So wait, how did she get here if the way was sealed? The only way we can do it. Oh, I just saw one. Where the fuck did it go? There it is. Alright. This. It's got to go that way. And then it will go over here. Because then it goes that way. This goes like that. Then this with like that. Turn, turn, turn. And got it. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Return to schedule task. Whoa. I will not submit. Brought the spirit's voice back. Tried. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. It's something. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's be good. not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Thank you. Um, spirit. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. Mm -hmm. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. Okay. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. Okay. Bergen said you might know something about a man named Silence. You may have had dealings with him at the Conclave. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow, or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? Nah, he's we know each other. Done some terrible things, but he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. Damn it. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Okay, what... Uh, what help what do they want? What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not bones. unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. Machine wanted bones. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. Okay. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened. Well, listening's good. With patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. She can't. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. I'm gonna try The diamond. diamond. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here. Then inside Thunder's drone. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... Yeah, that's all right. She named it the Daemon and said it needed her power to do what it willed. Okay. And she begged me for help to find a way to destroy her if necessary to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again until today. All right, the last time. What kept you from the spirit after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... He became... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. Oh. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. Okay. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. Oh, great. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. That's not good. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. For a minute. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Okay. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. When you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. 
But Damon has secured it. We'll take it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. Nope. I'm kind of good like that. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. I'm seeing like a billion perhaps, problems with this. When released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or okay. speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Well, that's great. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. So oh, I pretty much have to usurp some one guy. More thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Take it? Storm Slinger. What's a storm slinger? I am really confused what a storm slinger is. <laughs> Took the shaman's path. Weapon fires charge bolts. Consecutive bolts build up large charge. Okay. I'm curious. More so because, well, <laughs> this has been a fucking wild ride. For the Rarick. Repair the over an override tall neck. Yep. Uh, complete a trial. The hunting grounds. Clear out the. I have to just do two of them. That's easy. Well, I can do do the bandit cap and Sakuli. Well, I'm, I don't mind those. I like bandit camps. What was the other one? Shock three, three machines. Weak to shock damage using storm bolts. Stalkers and long legs. Alright, good to know. Alright. This is intriguing. I can fast travel. Um, can I fast travel to it? Oh, yes, I can. Cancel. Um, bah, 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 bah. What is they needed? Stalkers or long legs? Um, stalkers? That's not a stalker. Hmm. That's a stalker. That's a. Ooh, that is a long leg, so the closest fire would be here. 
but I can go to that. No, I can't do that one. Yes. We'll just go south, get the long legs, and then make our way to find other shit. So let's see what this weapon can do. I'm curious. Oh, excuse me. But hey, we haven't dropped any frames in the hour and a half we've been live. I like that. It might have actually just been Twitch servers last week. Not a good thing, Aloy. I've got bullshit. I've got bullshit. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot. I didn't customize that at all. Oops. Modifications for the bow. This is for my bow still. Um, do I have like nothing for my fucking... One modification. I guess I don't have anything for it, huh? Thought I did. Oh well. Inventory. There we go. Yep. Uh, dropping. Search the boar. Take his bones. Oh, okay. Thought I was already there, but I'm not. That'll do.
love how that just like fucking concusses me. Oh. Okay, get in the water. Got it. Come in, you asshole. Come on. So I just gotta find... I shocked him in the water, though. Was that not what they meant? Probably not. Well, I got one. So I just gotta find two more? Forget about traveling light. Who travels light anymore? Seriously. Chargers. Do 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 do